Hey guys, what's going on? MJ Rookie here to bring you another map feature. This map is called Barracks on the Lake. It's a map by Mershka and I, and it is a map that's supposed to represent what a missile silo area um, would have looked like during Cold Wars 4, 5, and 6. It was used as a military bunker as well to house some troops that didn't have anywhere to go. And it has a really nice um, kind of aesthetically pleasing feel to it. In the center, there's some oxygen producers, or as we know them, trees. Uh, in the blue base, or red base, a blue base, yeah. In the blue base, there are left and right wings. The right wing, if you're coming out of the main part of the base, the right wing has crates in it. It's a cargo hold. And the left wing has a air ventilation shaft, which has, which is also a man cannon, and a production be, uh, support beam. Um, in blue base, they have the all. They also have two cargo wings and a work area, and the main um, missile control launch system. Uh, the map is a symmetrical map. It is. Not the same for both bases, however, it is symmetrical hot dog style, um, but long, but for both bases, both bases are different. Um, the missile itself is just aesthetically there, there's really almost no purpose to it, except as somewhat of a sightline blocker between blue base and red base, so you guys can't shoot each other right off the bat, because, you know, that sometimes tends to happen. Um, it fits three to six players, or sorry, it fits three players on each team to six players on each team comfortably. It is great with Slayer, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, as well as, um, I think Oddball. Uh, not 100% sure on that one. See, I'm not even sure what game types work on my map. I just kind of guess. Anyways, um, this map took Mershkar and I, um, I want to say two or three days to build. We usually take our times with our maps because we don't want to, you know, mess up or anything. The spawnings um, have been adjusted and fixed from this video. Uh, they are actually nicer now and don't and you don't get spawned next to your enemy. I don't know if that happens in this video, but... I noticed it happened a couple times before. Um, let's see, what else? Really, that's all about I can, uh, really what I can say about it. Um, it has a couple trick jumps in it, as well as um, uh, some power weapons. So there's a shotgun and a scatter shot on the map to counter the sword, or to counter each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... The other weapons around the map are usually spawned in normally. Uh, they're not used for ordnance, so you have to find them. As well as kind of um, tactically, you know, use knowledge to your advantage. Instead of everyone knowing there's a shotgun on the map, only select few people know where the sniper is. Well, that's just an example. Um, the uh, map has an invisible ceiling as well. So, yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to let you guys watch the gameplay. Um, this is MJ, signing off. Peace.